And off you go with the paint over combo. Let's see. 24 hours to make your base. Okay, Soup du Jour by Noi. Hello, Noi. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Made with Scriptmaster. Destroy the stylus, drawing this. Please don't destroy styluses. Huh. A black and white entry. I. I don't believe we've had one of those before. Maybe I'm no, wrong. No, actually not. No. And for those of you who have not seen this compo or are wondering what the heck is going on here, uh, the original picture was posted 24 hours or so ago. Um, or, and then... Well, uh, Friday Friday afternoon at opening, the base picture, which, which is the same for everybody, was posted and you find your own shapes, you find your own things in there and you make a... Oh, RBBS greetings, lovely. Uh, thank you, Noi. Um, no, whatever. And um, start from there. And um, you will see that uh, many folks find completely different things in there. And this is one of them. It's, uh, it's also fun seeing how uh, how the picture came out of the original image. You, you Oftentimes we don't know where it came from when we first look at it and then, yeah. Unlikely friendship by abstraction. A necromancer and a pony person, chilling and raging. So, yeah, I don't know where the fellow I am looking <laughs> right came from. I okay, I see his okay. hat. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then hmm, yeah, and yeah. I, I'm, Very... not, I'm not sure if I completely get at this one, but then I am a barbarian. Uh, I but it is. Uh, that's going to be the necromancer then. Yes, I would think so. Okay. Yes, and then that's I assume that's a bunny. And I'm that's, assuming that's a bunny indeed. And then that uh, fellow is over there chilling over on the side. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You can see uh, with the stages where that where that came from. Yes, indeed. Number three. No comment by Ebi Chu. First revision entry. Welcome to revision. You even get greeting struck. I did. Oh, lovely. That's yes. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, I think I know where yeah. the hat came from. I'm gonna yes, have to because the hat comes, comes oh, from the same I see. position I as see the, the big one. lizard. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Very. Yeah, and then the and then also where the the grayscale thing that eventually becomes the well, no, it doesn't become the skulls. The skulls are entirely. They're not even from the original part. But no, they no, fit those are added really later. well, and you don't have mm -hmm. to. You can, after your initial portions, you can expand on it. You can fill the background. Yeah, if you get the foreground big characters out there or whatever's in your foreground, then you're good. And yeah, this technique also is a great way for to to just practice drawing things and getting ideas too. Uh, just take take some random lines or something, and just and then just go from there. Um, also, uh, greetings back to AB2. Hope you're well. Uh, this is uh, "Let the Cat Alone" by Paulette, uh, made by with Krita and Gimp using the mouse. Now, where's the cat? Lower right corner. Oh, yes, the cat. Yes, I see the cat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I have to see okay, the cat yeah. where it came from. Yeah. Now, last year there was such a water theme to it, and this year there is. We we I haven't seen a theme develop yet. The banana is interesting, also for scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how, how many of those hats we're going to see, actually, because we've had two hats at that we've place had two, already. We've had three hats, I think. Yeah. Although this in this yeah, one, the this hat is, is less than a hat. And then this, the hair is, this, uh, is, uh, is, 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 is the same position as there, yes. Yes. Mm 
Number 5, A Beached Squib by Emma Goose Goosington. Oh, poor squib. Uh, now, I have no hat. Those they, three she, did, she did not take the hat part. Yeah, no. no hat? She did, yeah, the, the squid, which was part of the, yeah, the, the, yep. the, the head of the uh, green lizard. But yeah, that's... Yeah, and then there's the, the three heads of the ducks. Yep. You work your way down. And then filling it out from there and adding the, uh, well, adding the, uh, the depth and so forth on it. Very nice. <laughs> the over there is just, yeah, poor little squid. Hmm. We've seen quite a few entries uh, from, from Emma Goose, Goosington, this, this round, or this time. So, Strange Garden by Laddie. High speed experiments with some kind of collage style using scraps of paper and fabric assembled in silk Photoshop. Huh. Okay. Fabric and paper. Interesting. Okay, I got the flower and the little flying. And I see where the I see where this the 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 bubbles come from too, but they're not as prominent, but they are there. Yeah, interesting. With especially the technique of the uh, the cutout paper, that's uh, mm -hmm. different. At this point in the compo, we have folks that are not really, uh, I mean, a lot of these are taking the image, the, uh, the, the shapes themselves and turning them into something else. Very interesting. There's a thought process to see how that happens. Birds in Space by Mikaleus. First paint over, we will go easy on you, I promise. And some Easter eggs. Let's find some Easter eggs. I haven't seen any Easter eggs yet, but I do see constellations. I might be sitting too far back from the mic. No, this is, uh... All right. Spacey space dust! <laughs> it's really nice that, that you see the notes what's there, so you can... Yeah, it, it actually yeah. This, this brings is, out the this thought is, process more. Is that space butt? Where are where are the Easter eggs? I think the some some of the planets are egg shaped. Hmm. Well, there's a revision logo. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the Easter egg. That could be. And there's a Mars rover, and there well rovers anyway, and there's a there's an Enterprise with a solar panel on its uh, nacelles. There's a train. Uh, not a caboose, but a train car. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, an, uh, an, an angry bird, red bird. Yes. Head in the stars from Callisto of Flush. But why I saw a satellite party. I mean, you haven't a satellite party, but a shadow party. Come to shadow party. <laughs> now that... The astronaut okay. on the left is is uh, that's high quality. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then and then not using the big structure for a monster, but for a space station. Yeah, for a space and station. And then connecting the the three heads of the ducks into a rocket. A nice invite actually, to the shadow party. That's a and actually, that's the uh, space station from the space station pinball machine. 
and there's the the, the fellow uh, on the uh, that that yes uh, that shadow party mascot, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, group name. Yeah, we. Have, I don't think we've seen in previous years. I don't think anybody's used this for an invite. That's um. I think the first one. Not as not as much. No, but they're 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 really they're really hot on promoting. Uh, Shadow Party. Yeah. Good. Dystopian Paint Over Universe by Logiker. Using Commodore 64 colors. Which Commodore 64 colors? There are plenty. Pepto font? That's acceptable. Default vice? Not as much. Okay. It's interesting to see that you try to stick to the multicolor rules. Yeah. <laughs> we understand. With a little more time and some dithering, that might have uh, mm -hmm. some interesting, um, the more interesting um, color shading and so forth. He got started yeah. on the mountain, but uh, yeah. And again, okay, we're starting to see a space theme. Starting to see a space theme uh, develop this year. We'll see if it mm -hmm. continues. Cats, or uh, well, we'll just call them cats. Yes. Space cats. Space cats. Yes. Space magic. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be about space. <laughs> By Cow Mao. Yes. Pure Clip Studio Paint <laughs> Magic. Yes. yes, that's now three on three for space stuff. Oh, no. There's some. Okay. There's a big guy with a with a with a with a snake with a fin. There's also a big cheetah thing in the upper left quadrant, upper right quadrant. Sorry. Okay. I I just see the 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 planets and the big. Mm -hmm. well, I guess they're I guess they're technically moon type planets because the large green planet from behind is and then the well I guess maybe that's a big um, uh, sandworm oh, oh there's, there's some uh, space plankton yes well, maybe not that plankton but little teeny fish And I, you know, it's also interesting. I, I, you know, when in this compo, I think it's I, people are like, okay, I'm I'm good with submitting a partially finished picture, because there's only so much time. I worked on this portion. They'll see that, you know, and, and send it off because you could work on this a long longer, but you only have so much time. Yes. Diplomatic writer, Xerion, Dom Inquisitor. Interesting. I see the fellow on the back of the uh, wolf. Uh huh. Not sure if. Perhaps he's trying to get the uh, large green monster type thing on the left to vote for him. Uh, it's maybe a house. I didn't recognize that as a monster in initially, to be honest. The guy on the left. Yeah. The, the, my the, first, uh, my first assumption was broken windmill, which I knew that it, that there wasn't that. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he has. So he has a large underbite, and then you have a monster. Okay. Yeah. Well, I might also be. I mean, it's it's also more of a house type thing. But when it was yeah. in the yeah. when it was in the um in the stages, I I. I it was it was uh, clearly a monster face, and then I guess somewhere yes. it changed during the uh, the process. Indeed, yes. Perhaps, perhaps he's leaving his um, uh, council okay, meeting. Okay, could be. Yeah. yeah. Another tale of Walther the Pony the Third by Just Mona. 
seems like Walther got himself in one of those weird situations again. Yes. And more fish. More fish. And uh, also a Day of the and Dead. Horse. Uh, Day of the Dead uh, flower, which we remember from a couple years ago when Wayfinder did this compo. I think this mm -hmm. has got some throwbacks in it to some of the other um, things. Yeah. I'm fairly sure that we've seen Walther before, too, in, in this compo. Mm -hmm. It might be my mind playing tricks on me. It is doing that today. And there's another crab. Maybe it's related to the crab from the from earlier today, or was it yesterday when we had the executable graphics? Four K graphics was today. Okay. Yes. Lots of things have happened. Lots of things are gonna happen. Lots of things are happening in this picture, and lots of different creatures. That's a space cucumber. <laughs> no. No, no, it's not space cucumber. It's a sea cucumber. It's, it's, it's a not sea a space cucumber. Picture. Yes. Oh, well, there it's is such cucumber. a thing as a sea cucumber. It is a. It is a thing. Yes, there is. Yes. Maybe that's how the squid got uh, beached on, in the other picture. Beach, okay, yeah. Look, Moon Go Boom by Grim of Headless Chicken. We, yes, we are in the space team. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, that's definitely still the monster head, but it's interesting that yeah, it has yeah, become yeah. a skull. Oh, and look at that. That's, that skull changed slightly. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're allowed to do that. Yeah. I would have liked to maybe see some more moon debris because there's plenty of... Uh, oh, boxes and objects you can find in there. Mm hmm And and yeah, but the and, skull yeah, is... we've seen is 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 in the position from let's well when, let's just call it the monster phase. But yes, some something was done with it, which is which is fine. But I really think there was stuff in there in the corner to do. Of course, not a good vision here, and I don't know the the time pressure indeed. Yeah, uh, time. I, th but I think that's that, uh, part of the equation. I, th I think also that that it might have started out as something else, and then uh, with the skull, and mm -hmm. then changing. Then it was just like, you know, I'm I'm just going to modify this. Just do uh, that. Yeah, indeed. Uh, this is beautiful the beautiful game, game by Harry. By Harry, painted with acrylics. Okay. Uh, okay, that is that's acrylic. Okay. Uh, so printed it out, and then I, I need to see this technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and that. Okay. Where did the acrylics come in? Did he, did, he, did? Because this is stuff. Okay, and then yes, that's okay. Then took it right yeah, out of there. Yeah, that's a print out, and then that's a finish. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've seen acrylics used. I, I, I like the expression on the confirm. giraffe. Yeah. yeah, this is. And a completely different theme going with the whole sports thing here. Mm hmm. This is. Yeah, that's a. unique take on it and I really like the technique and I think that um, you know uh, mm -hmm. having yeah you go ahead with the next uh, title and everything but that, I liked that okay sure Fighting in Fingerland by Cosmic of Ingray having fun while doodling and there's a skull again yes apparently uh, I'm not sure if that's a fellow Swapping floppies over there on the on the right or not? That's the first time that 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 uh, parallelogram has been used, I think. I think it was also used for the body of one of the first persons with the hair. Yeah, could yes, could have been yes. The skirt, yeah. the skirt was a uh, was part of that. Yeah. Oh, there's a big old Swapping spider floppies. there too. Yeah. Oh. 
not sure that they're solving floppies. Just doodling around, which is something you can totally do in this. And, well, as you know, as I was saying earlier about just getting up the the, the Wacom tablet, and, and I find it therapeutic when I when I can do it and I have time. It's uh, just doodling around and having fun. There's nothing wrong with that. St. Valentine's Day by Elizabeth Casua of 33ZTH. Love is in the air. <laughs> that's a uh, that's an expression there. Both of them have expressions, but the one on the right yes. is an expression. Mm-hmm. And the, the t-shirt, okay. yeah. the, 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 the baby or creature on the t-shirt, that's, uh, I had not seen that before. At least not, well, it was used as a cat before, mm -hmm. I think. But using as a unicorn baby. That's the second time we've seen a, a flower with a skull. It's a different flower with a skull this time. Yeah, no, but wasn't the Day of the Death flower in the same location? Yes, yes, it's basically it exactly. So I'm going to have to look for it in the next uh, time we see that paint over yeah. thing. Cause, yeah. Oh, sir. Huh. Those are some characters. Mm -hmm. Up next. Thank you. Vihan and Pingvini ja Kaverit by Zoixis. Seuxis. You do finish. Come on, you can do this. Yeah, I, I could have. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't. I'm going to look for the skull because it's not in this one. But that's a. That's a. That's a. The technique here is very different from the ones we've seen earlier. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, yes. there's the, there's the flower. And yeah, there is kind of a skull deal. in it. Yes. Okay. There's a skull in there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Not in this picture, but yeah. Okay. So I see where he's grabbing the, the spot yeah. and that big old hat, which he moved slightly to the left to reposition mm -hmm. it. And I guess that um, he's being held up. Farmer. Farmer. So it seems. Cat. I was going to say a wolf, but okay. Yeah. And, and then he's basically. Tax bird is the birds. Yep. The birds robbing the wolf, or the cat, or well, the space I... weevil. Up by the uh, the sand dune. Yes. Yeah, I think that is mining? a sand dune. Yeah, because yeah, because of the hand. It's, yep. uh Yeah. Yep. Behind in pink viniaca, right? Uh, warm summer afternoon by Neil Theta. Mood inspired by my duty to keep the sound warm. Yes. Well, now that uh, does look like that would keep yeah. the sound warm. Yes. And again, and again, there's a flower, but redone, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, I see. So you work with some of the basic shapes, and then you flow around it. That's, this is yeah. a good example of that. Yes. Oh, and, it, and also there was the green section and the blue section. Yes. Mm hmm Someone is saying that the theme this year was the birds, but... Uh, it's... Uh, The, uh, the main thing this is doing is making me feel hot. I'm realizing that I need to open a window <laughs> in this room. <laughs> uh, I that's just that's just a warm looking picture. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Up next, welcome the serpent by poison of singular crew. Does the turret snake? If if, if it has a snake. Ah, uh, it's a snake on the opposite oh, side. As, and, and that's a big angry snake indeed. Yes. Not really using many shapes that I've seen before. 
Okay, so there's the yeah, there's that where that thing comes from, but it's slightly uh, yeah, it's slightly changed. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, I see where the guy is now. The the fellow yeah, just so actually it's, popped uh, out. So right it's there. combining shapes we've seen before into one bigger. Yeah, and then go from there. Also interesting seeing because I'm familiar with with the, his work on on C64. Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting seeing you know 24 hours with with Krita. Yep. Because it's a different technique, but yeah, the, their ability to see things and make shapes into other things definitely a skill that. Both you, you use in both C64, but moves forward into uh, um, more modern techniques. Yeah. I am a wizard. I am Macha, a wiz queen. Ah. <laughs> Good use and, of the skull. And also the flower. Interesting. And the flower. Yeah. Yes. Carrying that eyeball, which uh, yeah, I, that uh, that eyeball thing is there definitely, and uh, but not not so much a well. That's the uh, that uh, is less of an eyeball and more of a, um, uh, a necklace <laughs> or a um, um, uh, what's the, the amulet? Amulet. Amulet is the word I'm looking for. So an amulet. Let's let's see when they zoom down. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't have the strings around it, but that uh, that I would be where an amulet would hang on the front mm -hmm. of the. Uh, no, of no, the, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. What you think is the bow tie are the strings to hold the amulet. Up, I think. Oh, oh no, yes. that's where the cape is. Could be. Yeah, that's where the cape is. Yeah. Oh, it might still be carrying a, a, a eyeball. Yep. But yes, okay. the penguin. Interesting to to uh, investigate. Next up. Chaos Racers by Titus of Rabenauge. Explosions and crazy people in strange vehicles. I hope things go boom. Well, something is going boom over there, and this I is, think it was this an airplane. Is, and this yeah. is this is a tape cover for a 1987 Commodore 64 game. That you um, put a tape for, around and so. Or, yeah. Or or for a punk band from the 80s, yes. This is yeah. yeah no this is a this is a this is a tape cover. Um, Titus, I want you to redo this in multicolor on C64. Oh, I want to see oh, I missed, the I totally missed King Oh Kong. wow, <laughs> wow! There's every, there's everything in there. There's an airplane. There's a bus. There's a a dog. A, oh, being that's a cow being abducted. Yes, exactly. Well, they're playing pinball. They have cows in there. Yeah, that's true. There's um, narwhals. There's a lot going on in that picture. There's a lot of stuff going on in this one. But yeah, King Kong, King Kong is just over there going, hmm, yeah, huh? normal yeah. day, normal afternoon. And you miss time. him because there's so much going on there. Right? Oh. Skull Shop Robo Repair by Faith. It was Krita. I kind of figured Faith would be using Krita. Yeah, that's uh. Okay. I. I, I is it repair? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's kind of a big old that's actually, bird skull. That's a vulture head. That's a vulture yes, skull. It is. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Vulture skull spaceship. Yeah, that's uh, supposed to kill. Yeah, so it's a Decepticon. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Oh, look at the little people inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're having a management meeting. <laughs> yes. Lovely. <laughs> oh. 
just uh, if you've seen Faith's um, um, speed paintings, um, this um, is reminiscent of some of them, and it also is not. Um, uh, she hasn't done um, as much of the um, angular stuff, but she still has the swirls and the and the color usage, mm -hmm. um, which uh, and and the and the robot thing with the big brain glowing parts is uh, is something. Regis the Third by Oni of Pooh Brain. Not everything everywhere is for us. Stanislaw Lum, book The Invincible. And paint over compo, best compo. This is a different drawing technique for Oni. Mm hmm. Okay, and there's the there, there's a bird has now again. You use a fuel pot for the for the chasing spaceship. Uh -huh. And part of the and and the shape of the skull moves into the cockpit of the first spaceship. And there's some movement in here that uh, it's going from in the opposite direction of the um, uh, the chaos racers. Mm hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, somebody's saying it's uh, graphic novel style. Less focus necessarily. Yeah, the, 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 that's like just like pretty nineteen eighties Belgian space comic. Yeah. That, it, it yes, is more, more. It's more. Yeah. Um, slight filling. No. In on the graphical novel style. This is. It's not. It's not, not comic books. It's graphical novel. Anyway. Well, um, just yeah. okay. Sorry. Just chilling. Far, far, far of loonies and many other groups. A fun challenge as usual. Well, happy you liked it. There's the duck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and there's a no. It's a dub marine. Yes. Oh, of course, it's a dub marine. Yes, but there's. It's I was looking marine. for the duck as well. Yes. I, I, yes, but it's a, it's a dub Remember marine, last year we were looking for the duck and it was inside the cat. But yes, yeah. <laughs> there's uh, and a seal and uh, yeah. And you can also see, you know, the differing styles of different artists are coming through in how they're in how they interpret this. This is, um, you know, uh, I, 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 also another thing about this one: there have been more cartoony things out of out of this, along with space correct, and correct, and correct. yeah, and and racing. Mm-hmm. So who's that? Uh, probably. Dwarf, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. And is that menace getting kicked over? Uh, I don't know. It, uh, it 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 actually might be dwarf outside, and then inside is booster. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. I would then go for dwarf on the outside. Yeah. Uh, summoning the Fire Dragon by Wayfinder of Farbrush. I did remember this year that war, that uh, that Wayfinder does also draw. Wish I'd remember yes. this is a 1920 by 1080 compo. Full 6K version in the release zip. <laughs> wow. Okay, I need to know. I see why these. I see why the original is 6K. This is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So you just took the. Um. Whoa. Okay. Just take a small snippet and work from there. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Um. And. Wayfinder going away from the cartoony style of a lot of other people and going with the and I would a lot of folks have have had less fleshed out details and, and Wayfinder just basically going straight for 
just details all over the place after he got the uh, um, the initial thing here. And my goodness, there's that's a big old flame dragon. Look at the birds. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the people in that little place did to piss him off, but uh, he's upset. <laughs> Probably failed to return the empty beer bottles. Uh, that could be, yeah. Mm. That was the end of the paint over compo, folks. That was a paint over compo. Was a very so good we've exactly so we've had things in space, many dragons, flowers, skulls, um, car crashes, car crashes, yep. uh, 